am Rachel from the Harmony Garden, and you're probably wondering what this is. This is an instrument called a hammered dulcimer. The hammered dulcimer is sort of the great grandparent of the piano, and it actually originates from the Middle East in ancient times. Over the centuries, it has changed a little bit. It's grown up a little bit. Um, now it's actually very popular in Celtic and Appalachian music, but you'll also hear it played in some early music from the Renaissance and the early Baroque period. So if you've ever peeked inside of a piano, you'll see that there are strings strung typically vertically. And when you press the piano key, it causes what we call a little hammer. It actually looks pretty similar to this, but a little bit wider with a bunch of felt on it swings and hits the string inside. And that's what makes the sound in the piano. The hammer dulcimer works very much the same way, but obviously there's no keys to press. My arms have to swing the hammers instead. Just like a piano, we do tune the strings using a little tuning wrench. That's what this is. A little bit smaller than the ones used on a piano, but I pop them on these pegs here and turn it just a teeny tiny bit usually to keep it in tune. My hammers that I use most of the time are double-sided. So they're made of wood and this side is just wood and this side actually has a thin strip of leather on it. So I'll show you the different sound that it makes. This is just the wood inside. You'll hear that it's a little bit more percussive and has a sharper tone to it. This guy is not exactly in tune when I'm recording this. There's snow coming. It was in my cold car last night. Now it's in my hot apartment. So those sort of things make wooden instruments go out of tune. So forgive that. Here's the padded side. Has that softer tone to it. So a little story about the hammered dulcimer. When I was about three, my parents took me to Colonial Williamsburg in Virginia. And even though I was very, very young, this memory is clear as day in my mind. Um, it was either a dirt or a cobblestone street. There was a stone building and standing outside was a woman in this really big skirt, I remember. It was probably a 1700s kind of style. And she was playing what I learned was a hammered dulcimer. I must have stood there for what felt like an hour. Now imagine a three-year-old being entranced by something for an entire hour. I was obsessed with the sound of this thing. I remember that she, a string actually broke on her instrument and she just ripped it off like this. And she goes, oh, my boss hates it when I break strings. And she broke character to say that. But I was so obsessed with this instrument that my parents had to go out and buy CDs. CDs were new. They had to go out and buy CDs of hammer dulcimer music so I could listen to it on incessant repeat. And the obsession never really went away. I've looked at getting kits to make one. Um, I finally, this year, because it's 2020 and why not, I found this one at second hand. It shipped here all the way from California. It's a very basic instrument. They do get pretty fancy. This one's very simple and it's a little bit small for a dulcimer. They do get a little bit bigger, but they're not huge. I mean, they're the size of maybe a small coffee table. Um, so I've been slowly learning it, kind of figuring things out by myself and looking things up on YouTube. I'd love to get lessons someday. But anyway, that's my little story of how I met the hammer dulcimer and finally got one 30 years later to learn it. So thank you for watching and hanging out and meeting my hammer dulcimer. Bye.